relationship of bees and flowers is one of the most beautiful co-evolutionary relationships we have. Bees are the legs of plants. Beekeepers, they are chosen by bees. You can brush by mustache. And they like. If bees left this world, I wouldn't like it because there would be no honey. Yeah, and no fruit. Colony collapse disorder is the bill we are getting for all we have done to the bees. If we didn't have bees to pollinate our crops, we'd have to eat just, just bread and oatmeal, you know, all the time <laughs> and a couple of nuts. If bees are dying, birds will be dying, plants will be dying. We could call it colony collapse disorder of the human being, too. Steiner's prediction has come true. So many of the problems we face come down to one thing, and that is monoculture. The bees can't even live there. They'll starve to death. From the point of view of nature, it's, it's insane. We've bred a race of super mites with every new chemical we throw at them. Pesticides came from warfare. And of course, they instantly kill the pollinators. When you see an airplane spraying, there is this tremendous feeling of not being able to do anything. I really don't want to lose them. I'm really finding out why I'm beekeeping is to keep that going for my children's children. <laughs> Our very lives depend on beekeeping. The bees sort of let me know, go ahead, we'll help you. Honeybee sanctuaries are springing up like mushrooms in this country. And they're coming closer. Only in the Bronx, baby. Are you going to find a swarm? You see the little antennae? It's lovely. Oh, look at this. Dripping with honey. People say that they can't keep bees. They're lying. <laughs> <laughs>